Oh my God. iPhone quality, disgusting. <laughs> have some confessions to make not literal confessions but uh this ain't most same old right now i look a crusted busted mess so let me fix myself up while i explain to you what the hell is going on in my life right now um number one i always try to post on saturday i don't think i've missed a single saturday but i don't think i've missed a saturday in like months and all of a sudden because the wi-fi back in my house trash when i first started my youtube channel i was in my apartment and the Wi-Fi that we had was great, but then again, it was only two of us living there. But no, we had gaming system, fire sticks, laptops, phones, tablets. We had a whole lot of stuff. So no, the Wi-Fi was just good. Um, the Wi-Fi at my house has always been garbage, but it's so bad that like if I tried to use the Wi-Fi to upload a video, especially with the, the amount of space that my videos take up now because it's a camera and not just iPhone or whatever, it's the amount of gigabytes for sure it would take a whole day without exaggeration 24 hours like one time i tried to use it and in five hours i think my video got to 15 percent. so it would probably it'll take longer <laughs> so like i i just don't know so glasses dirty lips chapped eyebrows in disarray mm, 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 mm. i'm sorry and it's hot i'm in my car Sorry, AC is coming. Anyways, that's why video didn't get posted on Wednesday. Also, I have been mentally down in the dumps. It's not something I talk about often or I don't elaborate. I may say that I'm not mentally here sometimes, but I've been down in the dumps. So I haven't really been, yeah, I wasn't, I didn't clean these how I was supposed to. Attempt to. Oh, it's way better. Dear God. Not me turning the AC off. When do I do that? When do I ever do that? Okay. Anyways. I definitely try to keep myself high-spirited. But at the end of the day, the truth is I spend most of my days by myself. And when I mean by myself, I mean, yeah, I live at home with my parents. And yeah, I go to work. And sometimes I see my friends at work. But outside of work and going home I don't do anything like that's just reality nine times out of ten you're not doing anything but working so I mean it's not like I've been trying to put on this like little portrayal that I'm always out and about and doing things but I mean it does happen often enough but I'm a young person so it's like my job to have fun right now because later on in life I got to plan it out a lot more <laughs> you know when you're in school and college and stuff like that, you get to plan out spring break. Spring break is coming no matter what. Vacation time doesn't just come no matter what. Oh my God. I thought a dead wasp just hit my car or something. I don't know, I thought bugs was coming for me. It was just a leaf. I'm dramatic, let's move on. Whatever, but yeah, so you gotta plan that out. Like stuff isn't guaranteed. So I'm definitely trying to take advantage of what I got going on right now. I'm fortunate enough to not have to pay any bills either. Like I don't, the only thing I pay is like a little bit of money each month for my student loans or one of my three. So no, two of my three, but yeah, it's not that much. Like I ain't dropping hundreds of dollars. It's literally a few dollars <laughs> like you can really put it in that ballpark but yeah I'm just I don't know I'm kind of lost and I kind of just want to do more of what I've always been wanting to do what I've always wanted to do basically let me let me fix up my grammar because I I'm not I didn't plan out this video I knew I wanted to talk and like basically confess that I'm not doing much I'm just a normal 22 year old going on 23 year old my message really when i started this is just like i want average the average joe is like people who just go about their days normally like they don't do everything extravagant but they don't never do anything you know and just go about their days you know i'm not trying to portray my life as something that it is not come on i live in metro atlanta georgia like it's not <laughs> there's nothing exciting going on <laughs> it's just a regular person but if you're a regular person in any city anywhere it just doesn't matter and like another one of my big things is just like body positivity um i haven't been being that body positive like i am very confident 
in certain parts of like my being inside and out like personality wise physically like you know but then i have my off days and that's normal like i was having an off week honestly like everything about myself i was just like why <laughs> like i just had i just questioned myself about everything my hands are also ashy and i don't know how to function with ashy hands but anyways um i don't want boogers popping out at you well, my skin doesn't look too bad right now but I did just take my bonnet off to the edges are, you see that, it's a mess. But I also don't do my edges, that's another thing. Like you don't gotta wake up every day and do edges, like leave them things alone. I don't do my hair either, I stay with braids. And after I take these braids out, cause I don't know if I ever talked about it, but I'm going to Vegas for my birthday. Ish, it's not gonna be on my birthday, but I'm going to Vegas for my birthday trip. And I got me some hair for that, so. And it's something that I've never done. I always got straight black hair like i think the very first time i got a sewing it was wavy but that was then this is now but anyways i'm just trying to be honest i didn't say everything that i wanted to say but i'm not trying to talk here all day so maybe i'ma uh, just dump my heart out once a week just to show that most times people are not doing anything um they don't always have an event they don't have to have somewhere to go even if you are one of those super big or just like famous or well-known or whatever you want to call them even when you get to that point you still don't have something to do every single day not every single day you probably got a lot of meetings and probably a lot of things to plan but that's not somewhere to be that's not something to do essentially in my opinion like you have to go to a meeting that's just that's like just going to like a regular job but that's not going to dubai to get on jet skis and stuff like that it's not that type of spectacular you're just doing your job so outside of doing your job most people aren't doing anything and and i'm maybe i shouldn't speak for most people i'll just speak for myself but as a young person who is just getting started i was actually kind of yelling at myself a lot earlier this week because like i said i've had an off week like why didn't you get started when you were 16 if you were 16 you don't know where you'd be right now because i was looking at all the people that i genuinely love on youtube and it's just like they've been doing this for years so like even one of my top favorites emma chamberlain she has been doing it for at least what i think five years now if not for sure four for sure four so it's just like even though she's i wouldn't call her an overnight success because at the end of the day it still took years but it didn't take years to get where most people would want to be as a goal period you know what i'm saying she has overcome most people's goals by 10 you know so it's just like you gotta be patient with yourself and i have an issue with patience like i'm just being completely honest i'm emotionally a wreck sometimes and i'm trying to get it together i don't really care that people know that anymore because i guess me trying to hide it wasn't hiding it it was just making it more obvious when you try to hide it and make you make it more obvious instead of just facing it and taking responsibility and ownership for the things that you did in your past and what you are still doing right now as we speak because habits are habits so it's just trying to break those habits and develop new skills on getting your life together not crying at the spill of milk i don't cry at the spill of milk i do cry at very emotional things that i just push away and i should stop suppressing them you know or repressing whatever terminology sociology majors don't come for me that's really it like i said i didn't talk about everything but life is life life is going to continue happening i'm just being honest most of my days i'm just trying to figure myself out some more because you can never figure out yourself completely you live with yourself every day there's always something new you can learn about yourself so yeah but right now i just need gas and i need toothpaste so that's what i'm gonna go do and it was nice talking to you guys um i'm just trying to be real here so real relatable human because that's exactly what i am so like comment subscribe share with a friend you know put on those push notification bells all those good things and i will see you guys next wednesday <laughs> bye